Hello, everyone. I'm CNN meteorologist Tom Stater to give you the very latest on what the was the strongest tropical system we've seen on our planet this year. At one point, Saudelor, that's the name, was a super typhoon equivalent to a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic. It's undergoing some restructuring, so it's been weakening the last 24 to 48 hours, but we expect it to strengthen and make a beeline right for the island nation of Taiwan. A direct hit is in the future. Take a look at our numbers right now, 185 kilometers per hour. As I show you the track, you'll start to see how the models want to intensify this, and we concur that even up to 220 kilometers per hour, this could get close to super typhoon status, or at least maybe the equivalent strength of a Category 4 hurricane, and make a direct hit in the center part of Taiwan. Taipei, 7.4 million live there, and they could really experience some pretty strong winds being on the northern flank. The problem we're also going to be looking at is a complex topography. The very high mountains could easily squeeze out two, three feet of rainfall. The mountains could easily squeeze out two, three feet of rainfall. It's very possible, and we've seen it in the past, to get an entire meter of rain out of the system. So after Saturday morning uh, landfall, it'll take the day to move through, then the channel, then make a, a secondary landfall on mainland China. That's Fujian province, but some of the waves are going to be incredible. We could see 40, 45, 50-foot waves with this. Uh, getting up to, uh, in some cases, maybe uh, 17 meters. Tremendous storm. It's definitely going to have an impact, and we'll continue to keep you informed. Today, to make preparations for their homes before a typhoon is expected to make a direct hit early on Saturday. Tom Sater joining us now with the latest on the storm as folks in Taiwan are waking up. Uh, Tom, what news for them? Well, they've got the day today to, to be prepared and get ready, batten down the hatches. They've been bringing in the fishing vessels and the ships. I mean, thousands of them, really. And the good news, they've also been evacuating some of the perimeter islands on the uh, eastern extremities of the coastline. It's not a super typhoon, but it's still strengthening. It was the strongest storm we had on the entire planet this year. But what a massive storm. You can see why they're getting the vessels in and some, of course, of the evacuations. 5 a.m. landfall, central part of the coast, spreading heavy rain across the entire mountain chain than mainland China Saturday night. I'm concerned about this broad wind field. By midnight, tropical storm force winds will circulate around the entire island before it moves across. Let's talk about the entire island now. When you look at this, Taipei has actually helped and it's blocked by a mountain chain up here to the north. But when you talk about the mountains, they rise 3,000 to 4,000 meters. The fourth largest mountain on any island is on Taiwan. It's going to squeeze out every bit of moisture and we're talking about over a meter. Five 5 a.m., landfall comes in on the central coast. By 11, you see the time here, the circulation pattern will be continuing. But it's that northern flank which is very concerning. Again, I want to point out, Taipei, 4.7 million people, blocked by this mountain range here. But again, on the northeastern coastline, you've got Yilan, where I just showed you the fishing village. This is where we could have a storm surge of three and a half to four meters to get in a little bit closer, to get an idea of what they're dealing with. They're just above sea level. 500,000 people live in Yilan County, and of course about 100,000 actually live in the city. But notice the valley as it comes down in this area. It's tremendous heights with this. This is going to cause some big problems, major flooding, and of course the threat for landslides. Now once again, when we come back and we take a look at some of the rain totals we're going to see here, I'll read these for you. It's tremendous. 500, 600 millimeters. I mean 534 in Yilan, and this is a 48-hour projection. We're going to see, Michael, over a meter of rainfall stretch from the northern mountain chain down into the southern mountain chain and then by Saturday evening when it makes landfall in mainland China there's going to be flood problems there as well. It still could be category two uh, equivalent hurricane status with strength on the mainland China. It could possibly have the strength of a category four when it makes landfall at 5 a.m.